how in your development of life have you gained this knowledge and found this clarity? Like what, what was your process? Doing the this opposite. The point? Making, not being truthful. Making not. mistakes. Yes. Being convenient. Yeah, but it's the same thing. Like when you have kids, if you're like, I've already done it the hard way. How would you teach your kids to see it this way with making half the mistakes? Fuck, man. Or would they have to make the same mistakes? So, so that's very difficult. I, I, my, my philosophy with my children is get, get them very good at one thing. Mm -hmm. Because that's how you find out about yourself. You, you can't get <clears throat> good at something without confronting your, your shortcomings, right? You can't get really good. You're going to hit plateaus anytime mm -hmm. you try to get good at something. You're going to fucking hit plateaus. I don't care if it's jujitsu. I don't care if it's the guitar. But try to be the best you can be for its own sake. Mm -hmm. You know, there's this great saying, Schiller was a German philosopher. He said, man is never more himself than when at play. Not, play is not hookers in an eight ball. <clears throat> play is that thing you would do for its own sake. That thing you do, that you would do regardless of whether there was money or anything else. When you are playing like this, like the game, when everything is in flow, that's when you feel, that's when you truly feel like you're yourself. There's something about that where you just feel like, oh man, I'm fucking, this is who I really am. It's like, it's what Nietzsche and, and, um, and Schopenhauer called will. Most of our life is having to go through life. I got to piss. I got to eat. I got to have sex. I got to sleep. There's a, you got to keep the machine going, right? There's, there's something about the machine. But then there are those moments. It's <clears throat> dying. It's fucking dying. That doesn't. That sounds serious. That sounds serious. Yeah. That was a back door. That was a guy in the back clearing his throat. Yeah. Be funny if there was a dart. There's a dart in his neck, and I just well, had you're him crying, killed. and he is speaking. Oh Don't even worry about that. Mm. Don't even worry about that. Mm. A little bit of a cough attack. This is like a. <clears throat> It's a Mount Bus. <laughs> this, this is like a nice no, but, Mount Bus. But, but it's episode. getting to we're, we're, what we're talking about is what's important. <clears throat> it's important to know what's important. It's important to know where to place your energy. It's for young people. <clears throat> but, you know, <clears throat> Nietzsche and, and Schopenhauer talked about this. Look, most of your life is go to bed, wake up, eat, you know, uh, go to work because you have to make money for more food and uh, for a roof. And it's like, like repeat, you know, it's just like they, you got to keep the machine going. You got to keep your body at a certain temperature. But then there are those moments in life when you forget you're human. Those moments when you hear something beautiful, you hear beautiful music, you see a movie, you, 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 you're, you're in a conversation like this where you're just zeroed in. You know, um, um, you, you see a painting that brings you to your fucking knees. And in those moments, it's kind of an arrested development. It puts you in high relief where you, you forget that you have to do all the things that a human being has to do. You forget about your biology for a bit. You know those moments of just, <clears throat> like, it's like, fuck, if you tell me God doesn't exist right now, it could be deep intimacy and connection with, like, your wife or something. Those moments that you stay alive for. That's, that's, that's kind of the quest. That, that, that's when you kind of go, fuck, there's, I don't know how to define truth, but, man, I feel it. Because whatever that was, was what I want more of. Mm -hmm. I want to be closer to that. And sometimes you can get that by experiencing that which is what's great about your job as an artist or your job, or you can get great by doing that. You know, that's, that's kind of what's beautiful about it. You seem like you have like a lot of joy, like having your curiosity and seeking this type of. Well, he said, how did you come to that time? Making way more mistakes than you guys. F living my life for a long time. Like I was one of God's favorites. When you're young and shit's happening and you're kicking ass, and, you know, you just had a good, you were lucky enough to have a good upbringing mm -hmm. and things worked out. You start to think that, you know, the laws of the universe don't apply to you. You can bend the rules a little bit. Fuck around. Mm -hmm. You know, just, you know, do whatever. Have your cake and eat it too. Woohoo! I don't have to be fucking, you know. And then you go, oh, shit. And then the flood comes. What Some kind of chaos will hit you. All of us. Everybody. It happens. It doesn't matter what you are. You know, my, my, you know it could be whatever. And, and you're like, oh, fuck. And then it, it, it bends your back a little bit, humbles you a little bit. That's a beautiful thing because you only learn in those moments. So that, that's kind of what happens. Well, yeah, well, you seem to have a lot of knowledge and like all this stuff. Obviously, you love to read. And again, curiosity, like I feel like things had to have happened 
to start to seek this kind of hunger for all There's that. Nobody stuff. at 56 who they, I mean, I, sometimes I guess some people fucking, I mean, the, the, the problem with a lot of money, you do see people who, the, the reason that people who come from a lot of money a lot of times have a crisis, you know, oh, how many kids, they did this whole thing about kid, children of billionaires. Mm -hmm. Almost all of them end up in rehab or dead. <coughs> What's yeah, going on there? What the fuck is going on there? What's going on there is that you, you can have enough money and distraction to keep yourself in a warm bath. You ever been in a warm bath when it's fucking blustery out like today? You get in a warm bath and you're like, ooh, yeah. and it's bubbles. And you're like, I'm fucking, I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> That's how I take a bath. I'm like, <laughs> and then, where's my cat? And you pet it yeah. and you read and you're like, I'm not going to tell anybody no, that I have a awesome. cat. Yeah. I know. Fucking jaguar. Fucking jaguar. <laughs> yeah, fucking my jaguar. Sorry, guys. That's Spanish for fucking jaguar. <laughs> a rigid back. Yeah, look at his that's fucking a, back, bro. Fucking, that's a, in the moment. That's right right of its spine. That's a Will Compton back, bro. That's exactly my what fucking it is. Jaguar you feels like Will's jaguar. back. Or I have enough money to fucking pet Will in a fucking Jaguar suit. <laughs> fucking, you're getting paid, bro. Like that one you're getting paid per fucking per. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir.